In this video, we'll talk about how to do blue green deployments using uh, OpenShift. But before getting into an example of doing blue green deployments, let us first understand what blue green deployments actually mean. One of the challenges that we we have in general is uh, being able to switch over from a current version of an application to a new version pretty quickly with minimal downtime. And uh, there have been patterns that have come up on how to do that uh, by minimizing the downtime. And uh, blue-green deployments is one of those patterns. Let's take an example of an application that has uh, uh, a version one of application running, and we'll we'll call this a blue version of application. So you're seeing a blue version of application which is front-ended by a router, uh, a, a end user or a client issues a call to to your application by let's say typing in a url and this router translates this url into wherever the application is running and 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 you get your application served right now let's take an example of uh, uh, a change made to this application and uh, that is the version 2 of the same application and uh, we will treat that version 2 as a green deployment now let's say this green deployment is set up it is equivalent to the production setup now once that once that green deployment is ready what we would do is uh, switch over the connection from the router to the green version of the application the version 2 of the application and at the same time remove the connection to the version 1 of the application that's called a blue-green deployment. It happens pretty quickly because all you need to do is go and make a change to the router so that uh, the end user doesn't see any downtime. They're just seeing a sudden switchover of the uh, of the traffic being routed to uh, application version 2. Now, let's say you switched over just now and uh, you figured out that there is some issue and you have to roll back to the older version of the application, that's also very simple. You can just disconnect the green version and switch back to the blue version. That's the blue green deployment. So you have two similar instances of your production application, uh, one with blue version, version one, and the other with green version, and you can switch between blue and green whenever you want. Now let us see how to achieve that in OpenShift version three. Now I'm logged into my OpenShift environment and I'm I'm in the project creation screen. I'm creating a new project. I'm naming my project as blue green and I just gave it a display name and a short description and I'm saying create. Now this will create a new project with the name blue green. Now once the project is created, uh, we will deploy an application into this project. I have an example of a simple application that will, this is a PHP app. Uh, there is an index.php page. All it does is it's, it paints a rectangle and it fills that rectangle with two different colors. So uh, initially, let's say I would want to paint a blue rectangle. I'm going to change it to, so it, it's going to paint a rectangle and fill it with color blue. Now we'll, we'll deploy this application into OpenShift. So let me get started. I will use the Git URL. And paste it here. And uh, since this is a PHP application, I'm selecting a PHP builder image. And uh, I'll call this blue version because uh, I'll call I'll name this blue because this is the blue version this is a version one of the application running now uh, we will create this a, a route for this application later because that's that's the key here right we, we want to switch the route from uh, the blue to green or green to blue whenever we want so we'll create a route separately and I'll show you how to do that now <clears throat> Uh, I'll leave the rest of the parameters as is and then say create. Now this initiates the S2I build process. It pulls the source code from this Git repository and uh, it, uh, the build process will also uh, pull the builder image, the PHP builder image, and it will 
layer my code on the top of the builder image and it will create an application image and it will uh, put that in the registry and then deploy it i'll change to the uh, project from my command line i'll use uh, the blue green project that we just created in a minute you'll start seeing that uh, there is a the the build it gets initiated inside this project for for the blue application that we just deployed so if i do oc get builds i'll see that uh, the blue one build is running so let's look at what's going on in this build so openshift has pulled my source code and uh, it pulled the PHP application image and it created an application image based using my code and it is now trying to push the application image into the registry. This will take a minute and uh, now the uh, image is successfully pushed. Um, you'll see that OpenShift starts deploying that application immediately and uh, if I do OC get pods now, there is a blue application running. We did not create a route for this application, so let us try to create it now. Let's first look at uh, the service. This service was deployed when we uh, when we created that this application. It's it is given the same name as the application blue. So we will expose the service, and I'll call this route blue green, and I'll give a host name or the URL to access this application as blue green dot right now the reason I named it and named it blue green is because uh, uh, we are going to use the same route to switch between blue and green now this blue green as you can see is the new route that got created and it is pointing to the service blue and this service is front ending that pod uh, which is going to draw a blue box right that's the version one of our application so now that is there let's uh, go and check uh, uh, you, you can see that uh, uh, as soon as we added that route that route is visible here on that on this uh, uh, openshift console so let's uh, try to invoke this application uh, on new tab so this uh, as you can see this image is actually creating a PN png so let me slash png and you see here is a blue box so this is the execution of that code that that's right in here so it's just drawing a box and filling it with blue color now let's go back and change the code we are going to now create a version 2 of this application and i'm going to edit this code i'll comment out the line that creates a blue box and I'll change it to the code that fills this rectangle with green color. I'll go back and deploy another application. So let me, I, I'm not overwriting this existing application. It will keep running it. The part that is running blue will continue to run and I'll create a new application with the same URL and uh, I'm giving the same URL, but this time the code is different and I'm choosing PHP 5.5 and I'll select this image do the same thing like before this time I'm going to call this green so the application is being named green and since we are going to use the route that we created earlier I'm not going to add a route for this app and uh, I'll leave the rest of the stuff as is and say create now just like before this will take a minute to uh, launch this application it will build the code and it will deploy the code so i'll pause this for a moment now i can see that the green build is now complete uh, let me also check here um, green build is complete and uh, let me also see if the application got deployed and uh, the green pod is now running now if you look at the image here it is still showing the blue image right that's because the route is pointing to the version 1 of the application now let's assume that this version 2 has been tested and it's ready to go and we are ready to switch over the route from pointing to from blue to green 
right what we'll do is we'll edit the route we'll look at the list of routes we named our route as blue green so we'll edit this route it is currently pointing to blue right so we'll change it to green oc edit route and i'll go down to the spec part of it and i'll say uh, this the spec is saying that this host name blue green dot test v3 dot cloud dot com is pointing to a service whose name is blue now i'll change this to green and i'll save and exit and that's it you can see right behind in the, on the screen that the the url the name given to this the, the route got transferred from blue to green right now let's invoke this in a new tab uh, we need the rectangle thing now if i refresh it 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 it's drawing a green box now as simple as that so with when i whenever when i wanted to switch over the application to the blue from blue to green all i all i needed to do was go and edit the route point it from blue to green and uh, the route will now show that it is pointing to green now let's say there is something wrong with this green deployment and uh, people don't like it there is a defect or something and you need to switch back to the you you need to roll back to the older version which is the blue deployment right so you do the same exact thing like before go get into the route edit it right go to the spec change this from green to blue again and uh, it's changed now come back it's displaying the blue application now so that's that's the blue green deployment it's as simple as editing the route to switch from one version to another thanks for watching the video